Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rise Radio, Sino Land, Shenzhen, just south of the Tropic of Cancer. And today is 60 seconds over Sino Land. Fake news about Chinese lawyer beaten and stripped by Chinese cops. The forensics of the big lie propaganda machine, the BLPM in action. In my interview with James Bradley, he said point blank that Western media is state controlled, and he is absolutely right. Your Anglo Landers are brainwashed from birth that theirs is a free press. It's delusional. One can decide how far back this has been true, but we can safely start in the 1870s to the 1880s when giant corporations form monopolies and trusts and conglomerates amass the money and, and, and influence to buy entire governments and media from national to state and provincial down to local levels. Making sure that the CIA and its fellow national spy agencies were put in place totally above any laws or oversight just made it official and more lethal. European Nazis coined it as big lie propaganda. It is now a global mirage used to keep the elites in power ever richer and continuously successful at imperial colonial capitalism's five E's, expansionism, extermination, extraction, exploitation, and evangelism, all rooted in psychopathic racism. This is something about which I have researched and written much. Below is the forensics of the Big Lie Propaganda Machine, BLPM, in action. Keeping in mind that around the world, these kinds of coordinated fake attacks happen countless times a day. Just look at the headlines concerning Russia, Venezuela, Iran, Syria, China, and on and on. Nothing reported in the mainstream media concerning Uranglo Landers, chosen boogie demons, can be believed. They truly live in a grotesque simulacrum where almost everything reported is not real. In this case, a Chinese, quote, human rights, end of quote, lawyer was involved. She is more than likely a CIA stooge, scratch them, and they are almost always connected to a Western NGO front whose real mission is to create subversion in the hopes of overthrowing the target country's way of life. She made a big splash on Chinese social media here in China, social media platforms and in the international press, claiming that she had been beaten up and strip searched by the Chinese police. This kind of fake news is pre-planned, premeditated, and immediately circulated around the world via the West mainstream media, state-controlled ventriloquist dummies. It happens so fast and is so widespread, it doesn't take a genius to see that the BLPM is very well coordinated and orchestrated. It was, of course, at the top of Western Internet search engines. CIA mouthpieces like the New York Times went into high gear with this false flag rag, which was meant to smear anti-Western capitalist, ca anti capitalist, comma, free and independent Baba Beijing. Let's not forget that the BLPM is also used to deflect from the minds of your Anglo landers all the horrific police brutality and illegalities going on nonstop back home. When the story broke, Guangdong Provincial Lawyers Association, Shenzhen is actually in Guan, Guangdong province, the Guangdong Provincial Lawyers Association asked to see the camera footage of this woman being questioned by the police. It turns out that her claims were not true. She was not beaten up nor strip searched. All the police were guilty of was using foul language and having a bad attitude. Gee, how profound. Some cops had a stressful day. Within 12 hours, the South China Morning Post blasted out the original fake news and then published a retraction article, which is what responsible, credible journalism is supposed to do. However, out west, the big lie could not die. 24 hours after the original fake news media blast, Google was still flogging the bogus New York Times attack piece as a top read when searching for strings like, quote, China, police, brutality, woman, lawyer, etc., end of quote. At the same time, Google was not showing any information about the Chinese police being exonerated. BLPM's rule number one is to stay on message and never say die. Of course, the government-controlled New York Times continued to leave their fake news anti-China hit piece posted on its website 
Always remember rule number one. And then when readers began to report the fact that the article was incorrect and that the Chinese police had been exonerated, rule number two, gag and intimidate the public, was enforced. The New York Times simply shut down the comment section, which you can see below. And there's an actual screenshot. The West Potemkin Freedom and Democracy on display in its Potemkin Free Press. When your Anglo Landers owners are confronted with the truth, they quickly censor it and gag the public. The next time you slip into brainwash mode and get wa all warm and fuzzy about the West Erzatz Free Press, remember the almost the, the above truthful account about how the mainstream's BLPM really works. This was not some errant fluke. This is BLPM's modus operandi 24-7 at BBC, Fox, CNN, Guardian, Economist, Washington Post, ad nauseum. The left center right positions are simply a smokescreen to give you the illusion of choice while you're getting robbed blind and driven into a dystopian fascist police state. Give me China's very transparent state-controlled media any day of the week. At least Baba Beijing is open and honest about its media, ways and means, which is supported by the vast majority of the citizens. Is it any wonder that the Chinese have the world's highest level of trust in the news they see and read every day? This is confirmed by an international survey. Meanwhile, let's give Americans credit for starting to catch on to the BLPM. In a national poll, only 6% of them said they had a lot of confidence in their media. And then a final note, thanks to Patrice Granville and Godfrey Roberts for suggesting that I write this article while providing background information as well. This is Jeff J. Brown signing out from China Rush Radio Sino Land. Please again share. I, I, we, my wife and I are so busy, you know, getting this uh, new business behind you, behind me that you can see our school. It's going to be another few months. It's you know, opening a new business is just a lot of work. So I'm not taking care of my social media. I'm not getting on Facebook, Twitter, and, and all the others, uh, YouTube, et cetera, you know, communicating with my, with, with my fan, friends, fans, and followers out there. And so please uh, help me by sharing this on your social media and in your social circles. Thank you and have a great day.